What's up with Johnny Manziel? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Outlaw Sports. Mike Lonsborough, my buddy, Burke Dales. Johnny Menzel is no longer allowed to play in the CFL. The problem child just keeps getting into trouble. What's your take on it, even though we really don't know what the hell he's done? It's a tough call. You, you know, you see what the media is, is putting out there right now. And, um, you know, he's he's a good football player. Um, but I, I think the last city you want to send him to is Montreal, number one, especially with his track record and his history. Yeah. Uh, especially in Cleveland and, and his college career. So, you know, this is his mistake, in, in my opinion. I would, I would think they probably offered him a rehab of some sort, and he denied it. Uh, so, Cavis Reed, who was my coach up in Edmonton, yeah. you know, he won't put up with that. So, it was uh, on down. to the next one. And they were, they were also, uh, they were to be paying him out March 1 and 75000 bucks. So I, I don't think Montreal, the organization, if he's still doing and living that life and still doing what he was doing uh, in his past, I don't think they want to give him that money uh, going into the season. Is Shea Paris still in Montreal? It's a good question. I'm not sure. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> uh, Wanda's, Wanda's was my favorite. Right? Was so. uh, but, you know, I, I, I really, you know, it's two, two things I want to talk about. A, I wanted to see the guy do well because I wanted to see that kind of marquee player come up to the CFL. Mm -hmm. It makes the league better. Brutal offensive line. Like I said, that was one of the most pathetic offensive lines I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. So he really didn't have there, didn't really give him a lot of tools to succeed. No, they didn't. And it really didn't. The CFL in itself really didn't give him time to uh, acclimatize himself to right. the game. It's a different game up here. It's a wider field. It's a longer field. Uh, there's a lot more passing. Those those quick five yard out balls. Uh, you know that's how you march the field. He was getting acclimatized, but I think, in my opinion, uh, his his previous life uh, trailed him. Yeah. Uh, and then when he made that move from Hamilton into Montreal, I would think that that was not the city for him. Uh, that's uh, that's Sin City as we know it, right? Great road trip, not a great place to I've live. Heard. Let me tell you, I went yes. to school there for five years. So, <laughs> um, so no. That being said, uh, a good football player, yes, I think you'll see him turn up in the Alliance League or perhaps the the Extreme League that's coming out next year. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it wasn't a good fit here in Canada for him. You know, um, that's the thing too, and and there was speculation. I know you're going to dispute this because seventy five thousand dollars, whether it's Canadian or American, it's nothing to sneeze at. But uh, some suggested maybe a sabotage so he could go play south of the border. Uh, the AAF, uh, for example, San Antonio owns his rights, but their new chairman uh, Tom Dunnan says uh, he's open. Everyone's open to his workout, so they can decide what they're going to do with him. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that that's. I. I, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy into that. If, if it were me, I. I, I believe that uh, he has. He has violated those terms, those agreement terms, and uh, Montreal just had enough. Yeah. The CFL just had enough. Montreal didn't want to pay him the seventy five k. You know, off he go back home, and uh, you know, I. I don't see it being any different in another league. Uh, the man is is followed by addiction. Uh, he's got violence on his on his belt as well. Um, you know, uh, in my opinion, he probably, he denied the rehabs that they offered him. And, uh, like I yeah. said before, bye-bye. Yeah. He had to go to counseling and he had to go to rehab checkups, uh, once a month, I believe is what they said. So he just couldn't toe the line. See you next time.